All right, I'm doing a handlebar install on my 2006 Softail Deluxe, and I went through Hill Country Customs, and what they do is they do all the wiring, or you have the option for them to do all the wiring. You can just buy the handlebars, but they can do all the wiring, all the cabling, everything gets you the right length. And you can just kind of see how that looks. Nicely packaged, nicely wrapped, steel braided cable, all wired internally, coming out through there with the Deutsch connectors all ready to be plugged in. All right, so got this whole thing taken apart. Wow, super high quality. Um, as somebody who's done a lot of internal wiring through handlebars, sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but really the biggest pain is getting all the wiring into all your switches and the switch housing all done right. And what's nice is that you can select. You can say, look, I want chrome or I want black switches and or chrome switch housing, and you could do it however you want, and they're going to do it to order. You can have them put grips on that I selected, um, this is just going to save you a lot of time um, and you don't have to worry about things being shorted out or if you're touching wires, you didn't splice something correctly. Um, as somebody who's done a lot of this stuff, believe me, it's about 125, maybe a little more extra for them to do it. Well worth it in the amount of time that you're going to save or if you're going to have someone else do it, the amount of time that they were charging. Okay, tools needed to take off your hardware on your handlebars are a T27 Torx bit, a, a, T, a T25. These take off the switch housing controls. Um, for your brake, you're gonna need a 7 16 uh, star-shaped bit. Let me get in there, just kind of show you, not the typical hex pattern, but more of a star bit. And a 3 8 um, star bit uh, wrench as well to get the uh, bottom part of your brake line off. A ratchet and a quarter inch uh, uh, socket. You might want an extender. And you'll need a blowtorch. I'm just kidding. You don't need a blowtorch. This is a 2006 Softail Deluxe, but the handlebar removal is going to be about the same for, for any uh, Harley. Um, it's always a good idea to ratchet down your bike on its jack, and I always like to block off the back wheel just because you're going to be kind of cranking on this bike a little bit. Okay, you do need to take off your gas tank when you install new handlebars, generally speaking, if you want to do it the right way. Let me just give you a quick order of operation. There are better videos that show you how to do this, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, my bike has a crossover line that goes underneath the spine of the bike on the frame. So you got to take that off and you got to drain the fuel out of your tank. That's the side that I took it off from. And effectively, I use this clear hose. I go into a five gallon uh, canister of gas um, and, just, and just so I, that way I can empty out the tank. I use these um, these fuel hose clamps, you can get them at AutoZone, any auto store. Um, I pinch it down so that way fuel doesn't run out this side because it's connected. Your fuel is connected from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank. And when you pinch that down, it just stops the fuel from draining out this way. You can buy what's called a connector, a hose connector. Your hose is 5 8 inner diameter, at least on this bike. It's a 2006 Softail Deluxe. Um, and, you can, can, and you can put that connector right here. And effectively, um, when you're done draining this side, you can connect over to this side. Again, I, I like to use clear hosing so that way you can see the gas coming out. Um, then what I do is I get these rubber vacuum caps and I just put it you know, on top of this to make sure no extra gas uh, doesn't leak out. You can buy that, this is what they are. Um, to unclamp it, Harley gives you these um, awful pinch clamp things, which uh, you have to use channel locks, which are these things to break off or a screwdriver or something. And take your tank off. Okay, the reason you need to take the gas tank off is because these electric wires um, that run along your handlebars and go down underneath go along the spine of the bike. This is just a rubber boot that protects the gas tank and effectively it all goes underneath here. This is a black Deutsch connector um, and also this is your cable. These are your throttle cables that run up over here. I labeled them front and back. And they, and they run right through and you've got to tuck them in very, very neatly. They go into your, this is electronic fuel injected. They go into your electronic fuel injector. You can loosen up the cables. These are just these like little metal drum heads. You just pop them out. There's one on top, one below, and you connect up the cables. There's the same thing on the other side. If you walk around here, um, this is the other side and this one's gray. And what's nice is that 
um, Hill Country Cycles um, effectively gives you the same color coding. So you know which one to plug in, which is great. So here's what I'm talking about. Here are the pre-wired handlebars. And these are the Deutsch connectors, uh, gray and black, color coded. So no mistakes, makes it pretty simple. Okay, at this point I've attached all the cabling. I've got the throttle cabling coming in. Um, you can see how kind of neat that goes through along the spine of the bike into the, uh, into the throttle housing um, and also the electric wiring um, which comes along in here into the neck um, all, all pre-wired inside the bike it connects right in you know right there at that Deutsch connector but I'm gonna attach the clutch cable next and yeah that'll be uh, the next step in order to get to your gearbox in my case my top pipe had to come off these are uh, Samson Street Sweeper True Duels Here's your gear gearbox. Here's where your clutch cable feeds into. So in my case, the top pipe had to come off. Okay, this is your clutch cover. That's what you've got to take off. Sometimes these things are stuck on. You got to get like a dead blow, knock it off. I use a piece of wood and a hammer just to get it out. But this is the clutch cable that you're going to be replacing. There are some good videos on YouTube to show you exactly what to do. Okay, got the clutch cable back in. Tightened everything down. Made some just minor throttle cable adjustments just for now. And also got the clutch cable in. Looks nice and tight. I like the measurement on this cable. Okay, just putting the bike back together. Always a good idea since you have to take the air cleaner off anyways is to just clean it up, oil it, um, you know, get it ready for operation. Okay, let me give you a quick walk around so that way you can see the uh, finished product here. Um, really like the way it came out. The, uh, the bars are just a great height. I kept the stock risers on. I just like that look of the way the risers kind of pull back. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's a very, very comfortable riding height, at least for the handlebars, for me anyways. Um, all of the equipment, the grips, um, the levers, all good quality, steel braided cable all the way throughout. Um, and I really like the cable length. I mean, the length is just really tight. You know, you don't, sometimes it looks like you're a bowl of spaghetti just driving down the street with all kinds of cable, extra cable. You don't really need that. You just need enough to make a clear turn and that you're not putting too much pressure on the cables themselves. But the clutch cable came out really nice. Um, you know, nice, uh, tight sweeping arc. You can see it, you know, on the, on the left, on the right side of the screen. Um, you know, throttle cable, brake cable, you know, everything's got enough play in it, you know, but without having too much excess, um, in there. And you can see that you, you can see how, how it arcs over and, you know, and that's your riding, you know, position. So it's, it's, it's a pretty nice, uh, combination of, um, you know, of kind of, where I like the handlebars to be and, um, and everything. So anyways, thank you for watching. Dog dot occluded, no blowtorch required. Now, if it'll only stop snowing, I'll have time to get out there and ride. Can't wait for spring and summer, but a good winter project.